This is a rare opportunity to videotape a 600 mile service on one of these. Um, I think this is 2012, and uh, quite a few years since these bikes have been made. There aren't many out there with low mileage. Uh, we have no service history on this bike whatsoever. Nothing is marked in the book, not even the pre delivery inspection that the fucking dealer does when they uncrate it. So, who knows what's been done? So, we're going to do a 600 mile service. These get angle torque. This is the first and only time you would do this with the exception of replacing the head gasket. And that's a little bit different procedure. This one, this bolt gets torqued to retorque to 40 newton meters. So you're going to loosen it. Retighten it, and that is done. We're going to bring our torque wrench back to 20 newton meters. We are going to get my angle torque. One of these people freak out. What the fuck's a jumper cable for? Nothing but to hold this in place so you can set your dial indicator. Start with your upper left, just like reading a freaking book. Well, sort of. Loosen completely. We now torque that one to 20 newton meters. Now grab your angle torque gauge. Put this on to here. And this is going to get torqued, turned to 180 degrees. Pay attention. This procedure is easy to fuck up. You get distracted. You forget which ones are done. I've seen it too many times. Techs will fuck up. They turn a cup. They turn it 180 degrees. They forget. They come back. They think they didn't do it. They hit it another 180 degrees. Cylinder stud gets ripped out of the block. We had a 93 R1100 RS here recently that had that issue on both sides due to negligence from some former technician. By the way, we are up in cylinder also. Get to zero. And that's it. Now you're going to adjust the valve. All four feeler gauges at once. We'll do that now. Might as well bang it up and get it done on one video. All four at once is critical. Do not do these one feeler gauge at a time. It does not fucking result in an accurate valve clearance setting. You need a 3 millimeter Allen, 10 millimeter wrench. As we see, that upper intake is too fucking loose. These exhausts are okay. This intake's just slightly loose. This top one is much too loose. So what we're going to do is fucking work. Keep that in is tighten that one. And you'll probably see an effect of the exhaust falling out. Just loosen. Turn the Allen slightly. Snug the nut back down. These nuts don't take much torque. It's like 8 newton meters. It's fucking next to nothing. So just snug it. It doesn't need a lot. Okay, that one's a little bit tight, but that's going to change when I snug this one up, because this one has got a little too much clearance. A little, a little bit loose. That is good. 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 Feel this way. 
Do you have a good comparison? Right, they all feel the same. And that's it. That's done. Now we're going to remove these. We're going to turn the engine over 360 degrees to get top dead center on the other side. We will retool.